Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Let's review the main points discussed in session 5. In this session, we discuss two important verses of the Quran, which also happen to be verses regarding Imama. Now, those of us raised as Shias, we will have heard these, but very rarely are we made to appreciate these verses and why they point to Imama. So, let's look at these verses with more attention. The first verse we discussed was from Surah Maidah, Surah 5, verse 67. يَا أَيُّهَا الرَّسُولُ بَلِّغْ مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ رَبِّكَ وَإِنْ لَمْ تَفْعَلْ فَمَا بَلَّغْتَ رِسَالَتَهُ وَاللَّهُ يَعْصِمُكَ مِنَ النَّاسِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِي الْقَوْمَ الْكَافِرِينَ There are many points to extract from this verse, and as Allah has called us to do tadabbur over his verses, we will find that reflecting over this verse takes us to many of the points we discussed in the session. What's important in this verse is the Quranic context it's placed in, and the fact that Allah doesn't explicitly say what it is the Prophet should announce, and rather only alludes to it, creating a question in our minds that, what is this important message? How do I know it's important? Well, Allah is tying the entire Risala to this Iblaq. Another important point to ponder upon is the promise that Allah makes to protect the Prophet. Now, all of this in light of authentic history, there's only one thing it can be referring to. The second verse we discussed was from Surah Maidah again, Surah 5 verse 3. It's a long verse and all of it is important to our discussion, but for the sake of brevity, I'll only read out the end of the verse, which is also its peak. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Al-yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum al-islam deena. فَمَنِ اضْطُرَّ فِي مَغْمَصَةٍ غَيْرَ مُتَجَانِفٍ لِإِثْمٍ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ This verse is closely connected to the verse we mentioned earlier, and once again, its Qur'anic context is crucial to the discussion. The different parts of the verse are also very important, as well as the clear and authentic history tied to this verse. As we said in the first few sessions, Allah wouldn't tie the meaning of a verse to a historical event unless that event stands out in history. These two verses are an example of this rule. Okay, so this was only a brief recap. So if you want to know the details of the argument, make sure to watch the entire session. It was really enlightening.